Hello guys, welcome to C Learning with new video. In this video, we will learn about basic ACL. ACL is access control list, uh, which allow the interesting traffic, the traffic you want to allow, uh, and uh, the traffic you want to block. You can block this uh, traffic to access some specific uh, destinations. Suppose uh, in this uh, video. There are three network. One is a financial network, other is HR network, and the third one is R and D network. We want to block R and D whole network, so we want that uh, any PC uh, from this network uh, is not able to access uh, this. So we just apply ACL. So uh, any PC from this network will not be able to access uh, this uh, this network. Uh, suppose this PC, and uh, we also want to. block uh, some specific pc suppose this pc to we want uh, to block this pc to access uh, this uh, network suppose so we just apply a specific acl uh, to this uh, to this network and block uh, this pc so let's see how to apply a uh, acl so first of all we configure ip addresses on interface so interface gigabit ethernet 0/0/0 IP address 192.168.10.1 on this network for this network and 24 will be gateway now we go on other gateway sorry one and IP address will be 192.168.20.1 and 24 for this uh, network and uh, now go on this interface and uh, 192.168.30.1 and 24. So now, sorry. IP address. We just put the command IP address. IP address. Okay. So now we give the uh, IP addresses to PCs. Let's uh, go quickly. So just give this PC as IP address. 192.168.10.20.20.2 and 254.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
from this network hole uh, we block whole uh, whole network and uh, we just block one ip from this network uh, just ip address of this pc pc2 to access this so let's apply acl so just uh, give so command is acl acl2000 uh, 2000 meters range of acl from this range it recognized that uh, this is the basic acl so just okay so you can see here uh, acl basic 2000 so just apply the rule rule 5 uh, deny deny source 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 would be the this source we uh, deny this source so source ip is 192.168.10.0 means the whole network and the subnet mask will be 0, .0 uh, wildcard mask would be 0, .0 255 255 means uh, all the ips on this network if uh, we uh, give the zero here it means that the strict ip only one ip will block as i uh, will told you in uh, next rule when we block this ip so we block the whole network of uh, this so just enter ok now we apply rule 10 in rule 10 we just block this ip address this specific ip address but not the whole network so just give the rule 10 rule 10 deny deny source 192.168.20. dot and uh, this ip is 2 dot 2 and wildcard mod is 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 and here we apply all 0 because we want to uh, block this specific ip not the whole network if we want uh, block whole network so we just apply to 55 five here so now we just want to block a specific ip so we put all the 0 it means that a strict match so just apply and now we give the both commands uh, we uh, tell the router that uh, block uh, this interface uh, this whole network and uh, we also uh, give the command to this that uh, only this ip from this network uh, to block to go through this uh, go toward uh, this network so just go back quick and now we give the command so command is so we will apply this ACL on this interface because we don't want to block this network to go to this network because these two network will be reachable to each other but these two uh, this network will not uh, reachable to each other and for this network this specific IP not able to reach this network but these two network are fully reachable to each other so we just apply this ACL setting to this interface because any IP come from this side will go to this interface so router will block and deny this ip that you are not uh, allowed to go to this uh, uh, interface for this network same go for here so any ip come to this router will allow but this ip will uh, come to this router to go to this network uh, this router will block that ip that you are not allowed like uh, this whole network so just we apply this setting to interface now we go in interface g002 g002 and we have a command traffic filter outbound so outbound mean going out from outbound acl so what was the number of acl so acl 2000 we just apply acl 2000 here because we did all the setting in acl2 uh, acl 2000 we tell in acl 2000 that these are command you have to follow in acl 2000 and now we just give the number here so this rule will go in acl 2000 here and we'll check the rules what are the rule in acl 2000 we'll just apply here so now we apply this acl on this network now we'll uh, able uh, let's ping that the pc1 is able to ping this pc or not so just ping 10.10.1 so yes it's reachable to this network let's ping this pc so 1030.2 is the ip address of, of this pc so let's ping so it will not be reachable because uh, we just apply the acl setting here so this pc is not reachable to this pc but this pc pc1 can ping this network any pc from from this network just 20 network so you will see yes yes ping up reachable now we ping uh, pc5 to ping this pc3 let's see it's reachable or not so with 3.2 it will be reachable because uh, this ip is not been blocked from uh, go to this network but let's see you can see here it's reachable but if you ping this uh, pc 
to access this PC3, this will block the network. So 30.2 is the IP address of this network. So you can see here, uh, router is blocking this IP to go to that. So through this network, we block this specific IP. All the other uh, computers connect to this network will be allowed to go on this network. But all the PCs on uh, this network will not be able to go uh, to this network and uh, these two network are fully reachable to each other and can ping each other so this is the setting of basic acl where you can block a specific ip and the whole network so that's all for today's video if you have any questions so you can ask in comments so thank you very much and please subscribe